That is a, and welcome to our daily prayers. I'm going to read the last two verses of Psalm 23, and we switch from a picture of God as shepherd to God as the host at a, a feast he has prepared for us. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and might. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so we are Exodus 15, again at verse 22. And Moses led Israel from the Red Sea, and they went into the desert of Shur. For three days they travelled in the desert without finding water. When they came to Mara, they could not drink its water because it was bitter. So the people grumbled against Moses, saying, What are we to drink? Then Moses cried out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a piece of wood. He threw it into the water, and the water became fit to drink. One of the main ways God works is not to take us out of the difficult situation, but to help us within it. So here, for example, the Israelites were not taken out of the desert, but were helped within it. And the Psalm 23, you prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. God helps us even though our enemies may surround us. And of course, that's true for you and me. God doesn't always remove the difficulties, but within them, be they ones of health or family problems or job difficulties or all sorts of different things. God's help is there for you within the situation. Of course, it's right and acceptable to pray that God might take you out or might relieve you. But a deeper prayer is that God might help you within what you're facing. Perhaps you might like to think of something you're facing right now and pray for God's guidance and strength within it. A space for our prayers. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>